Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Diz. That's some P, aka the President Neptune King Yanis. This is Jugger Bazi Super episode 115. I watched it on the website that literally said fucking 114 twice, and I was like, what the fuck, man? And 114 twice. But yeah, the rant will have to come later on down the line because I had company and I completely forgot to do the rant yesterday and the weeks prior. Plus, um, sleep plus other shit. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna get into this episode real quick. All right. So basically, Khalifa, which is Khalifa and Kale, fused to make Kefla. Yes, I will be talking about that in that rant. Fuck them two characters. Anyway, Kefla fused with the Patara earrings, which I still I'm gonna talk about that too in my rant too, which is bullshit. I'm not gonna talk about it in this review. They fused, fight Goku. Goku is in Super Saiyan God mode, which I talk about that too in, in the in the rant. Which it's not even a big deal. It's just for the fact that it's inconsistencies through both manga and anime, which I really don't care about both at this moment, and it's kind of fucking sad. Anyway, um, they fought, and you know, not only that they fought, you know, they um. Just basically sat there and they job basically. They, cause K- Kefla basically got plot armor, which I mean, that's what I mean when which they job. And then two, Goku literally said, literally you try to use them to unlock Ultra Instinct, which is nothing wrong with that. My problem is, is that once again in Super, there's fights that we want to see that we can't see. Because Goku is the main character and he's taking over everything. Anyway, they fought. Kefla was actually doing decent in terms of keeping up with Goku. Whis and Beerus talking about Goku can't lose. He's trying to go in KO King. He's got a strand on his body and all that. Which is nothing wrong with that. It's just for the fact that, you know, that's Goku. He's, he's dumb. He's going he's gonna to do that. They try to finish him off multiple times near the end of the episode. And he goes Ultra Instinct. And locks it again. Which Ultra Instinct to to the degree when they showed that preview makes sense. So I can't really go in go in on that in my rant whenever I make a rant video. But it's just for the fact that they pull it so early and super. Like it's almost it's literally mid game and they pulled that out. That's my anyway. Um, they fought Zeno Summer once again. Red cunning rules and shit saying that. Oh, you can use the Patara earrings, man. You can use that, even though earring ain't considered a weapon for most people. But you can use it how sources like earrings and shit now. So, Universe 2, I want to say, used the earrings. And Kefla ran that ass over and broke the earrings. Plot armor. I'm going to let y'all know that's plot armor. Because they just, it just burst. Anyway, they fought. Vegeta is literally fighting Topo, which... Realistically speaking, if I was writing the story, I would have him fight Topo, but I would not have him beat Topo. But like I said, that's going to be in the rant when I make that soon. Gohan and Piccolo, for me, was the highlight of the episode because they was fighting the Namekians of Universe 6 that we don't really see and get much care of the developer because, you know, fucking Saiyans and shit. Yes, there's three Namekians and three Saiyans. I just realized that shit when I'm recording this. But... This is a short review because, like I said, really nothing really happened. They fought. They barely talked, but they fought. But it wasn't entertaining to me. I'm sorry to sound like an ass or whatever, but it's it's not. It wasn't entertaining to me. But the the score I give this um, review because I'm not. I'm sorry, guys. It wasn't entertaining. Hell, even Goku and their dialogue wasn't entertaining. Hell, I got hyped when Gohan did the Masenko. I mean, that's my boy. I'm a Gohan fan. Of course, I'm going to get hyped. But he did the Masenko on the Namekians. They was like, oh, shit. Hey, bro, you all right? Yeah, cuz. I'm all right, cuz. Hey, man, that nigga strong. You know, they was they didn't say you know they didn't say that, but that's what was going through their minds. But overall, my biased opinion, I give this episode a fucking five, man. Because it didn't do anything for me. It's not bad but it's not good but from a reviewer standpoint and not just me being biased if you really want to watch this episode I give it a solid 6.9 almost close to a 7 because they did show a character fight Goku and keep up with Goku 
But like I said, that character is a plot device, a Mary Sue and everything. And I ain't trying to rant on that. But anyway, it's, it wasn't that it wasn't that good. Even the dialogue wasn't that good. But it, oh, one thing I want to add. They show potentially, which it's going to happen because I talk about that in the rant. The androids thinking about fusion. They didn't talk about it, but Beerus and Whis want them to fuse since Goku and Vegeta are too far away from the, you know, stadium. But anyway, you know, it's your boy Diz S and P man and Prince of Neptune King Yanis. I'm gonna try to do these reviews a little bit more, even though I don't like the way Super is right now. I got some other shit I gotta talk about. I just gotta quit being lazy and make them videos for y'all for that. And yeah, comment down below if you have an opinion about this, anything about the episode or whatnot. Like it if you want to. I don't really don't give a fuck if you like it or not. You know, comment if you want to. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm out. I would like you to comment other than like it. You know, I don't really care if you like dislike it. You know, you comment if you want to. You know, I rather have comments than you know likes and dislikes. But I mean, that's just me. I don't really give a fuck. But yeah, man, I'm out. Peace.